Okay, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a get ready with me with some questions because I asked you, when I'm filming this, I asked you yesterday on my Instagram. <laughs> wow, I need more coffee. I asked you if you could ask me some questions that I could answer while doing this. Get ready with me. I'm gonna use a bunch of new products. I'm gonna use some uh, old products, some things that I am also in the process of reviewing. Um, for instance, this one, the Bare the bare minerals, uh, good hydrations, and I'm gonna answer some questions while I do this. I asked you to give me some juicy questions, and some of you, uh, some of you gave me really tough ones, t questions that would literally take a separate video to answer, like capitalism and like marketing and makeup and stuff like that. And some of you gave me uh, questions about meetups and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and answer questions about like the middle ground. Those are that are slightly juicy, but maybe not as advanced so that I would need uh, like <laughs> a whole video to answer them. Uh, I hope that that's ooh, that's okay. Today I'm gonna use actually the NYX brush as well because I still need to use it. Someone asked me what is your biggest pet peeve when watching other YouTubers and I feel like this is a very <laughs> juicy question. Someone also asked me what's my least favorite YouTuber and to be fair I don't think I have like at least favorite YouTuber like that. I, I don't try to not... If I stumble across a YouTuber that I don't like I try to not watch anything more like... I don't watch people that I don't like. Makes no sense. If So if I stumble across someone that I think has a personality that doesn't really match with mine or views that doesn't really match with mine or like a video that I didn't enjoy I won't watch them anymore so I don't really have something like that but when it comes to pet peeves I think that my pet peeve is how negative some videos are and I, I do think that it's important to like say your opinion and like if something's bad you should say it's bad don't don't sugarcoat it but also don't make it i click out of those videos now because like i talked about in the video where i did my like life update i get very uh, affected by those kind of bashy negative videos and sometimes i feel uh, that some videos are negative just to get the views and you do get good views from negative videos Am I a bit dry here or is it that the foundation is not looking that good here? This foundation is weird. Let me just tell you that. This foundation is very weird. Because I didn't feel like I was dry here, but this foundation thinks I'm dry here. <laughs> so yeah, that looks appalling. <laughs> Um, so I try that like that's my pet peeve when I see that people are doing very clickbaity or bashy titles and like exaggerating just to get the views and there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes I feel like we are in a symbiosis like the viewers and the creators and sometimes I feel like we are both responsible for how negative YouTube sometimes have been uh, and I try to not I don't feel like my skin is this dry, but this foundation is really making my skin... Like, not here where I'm not dry, but apparently it thinks I am dry here. It's looking very questionable. And I'm here like, oh, let me put some more on and see if I can fix it. I'm just... I try to not watch super negative videos and sometimes that is my pet peeve especially when it's like a channel that I have been subscribed to uh, and liked the content before and all of a sudden it turns into something super negative where every video is a bashing or a rant mm, that's not my that's not my like cup of tea and this happens with both bigger youtubers and smaller youtubers and I have actually unsubscribed from some channels due to this because I don't want to go down that rabbit hole and just have everything around me be super negative like speak your piece like say what you want like it's okay to say their product sucks but yeah we don't have to make our whole channels about that like I don't feel like I'm dry here but wow, is this clinging to a dryness that I didn't even think I had? I need a mask after this. Do I look like this? No, really. Do I look like this? Wow, this foundation is looking so ca- This is looking horrible. Like, honestly, horrible. I think I need to go wet a brush and see if I can go over this a bit because... Let me see if I can show you. Can you see something? It's like around here. It's 
so like dragon scales. I need to go wet the brush and see if I can fix this. Okay, I think I maybe salvaged it a bit, but this doesn't look good on me. I will say that this foundation, if you have oily skin, this could be good for you, I guess. But if you have, because I have normal skin, I don't have dry skin, but right now it looks like I have dry skin. I'm also gonna use the concealer. Um, so yeah, I think that's like the pet peeve I have right now. And that's like not even a pet peeve with YouTubers. It's like with the whole of YouTube and maybe, what's that background noise? That my cat and maybe like a pet peeve with like the whole of like the community including like the viewers um being that people are so into uh, negative videos both creating them and watching them but it is what it is what can you do uh, someone also asked me if i watch any of the drama channels and maybe this will fit in i don't feel like all uh, drama channels are alike uh, just as i don't think that all beauty channels are alike and I think that there is literally someone for everyone I don't watch any drama channels like on the regular if like a big um, like controversy happens or a scandal I'll watch a video just to see like what happened if there's something that I maybe I need to know it usually I don't <laughs> usually I don't usually I don't care usually I do think that all of these things are pretty exaggerated and people are throwing stones in glass houses but sometimes it is uh, good to know like the more you know but most of the time no i don't watch any of them maybe i watch like one every two three months but there's not one i watch on the regular and um, it's not that i hate it it's just uh, not the kind of content that i'm interested in i know i saw a question here about my tattoos should i talk about <sighs> where was it? Where was it? Can you show us your tattoos? Like, I don't know if I want to be like, oh my god, look at my tattoos. Like, because I don't, like, I'm not, like, fully covered in tattoos. That's, that's not who I am. Um, and I don't think that I ever would be, although I do think it's, it's, it's really, I like, I really think that tattoos are super pretty. I really do. Um, I don't think I would be the person who would get it all over myself, but I do think it's really pretty on others. I, I actually really like the look of tattoos. And I have, I have gotten tattooed eight times, but most of them are really, really small. So it's like not worth, like this one is a small one. It says hope. Uh, and then I have two here. Uh, they were like, can you see this even? <laughs> these were, uh, I made, got these at two different locations, so it's like two different tattoos, but they're both so small, I mean, most people would see them as one. One of them is just a peace sign, because I do believe in peaceful solutions. Sometimes I wish that people would use their intellect more than they're just going with their gut feeling and just brushing in. Um, but that's just my opinion and then the thing that's here it says alig which is the swedish word for honest which is something that i feel like i've tried to be my whole life although sometimes i mean sometimes you do like a white lie or you do a lie just because like sometimes it's better not knowing but i've always tried to at least live an honest lifestyle and at least be honest to myself i think that's the most important thing um i have a tattoo here or is it here yeah here it is i have a tattoo here i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can it says when in doubt love um it's basically wait why, is, why do we have these straps here i should really have gotten rid of those um it's basically a tattoo pretty much describing me as a person um, if I'm ever not sure about a person uh, I will never be the cynical person and assume that people are out to get me I'm very trusting as a person and I will always love when in doubt I will always love I will always think the best of people uh, and of course that has like bitten me um, in the past but I don't want to change that about me. I also, oh wait, I also, wow, this concealer is also very dry. I don't know how I feel about this whole line. I did like the powder though. Uh, the can't stop, won't stop loose powder. That one was really nice. The other ones, I think that if you have very oily skin, that could be for you. I have a tattoo on my stomach. Don't want to show that. Uh, maybe, maybe, wait, wait. 
I'm just trying to stand here. I have one here. See my sexy sweatpants. It says Captain Octem. This is one of the first ones that I got. Um, so it's pretty old. It basically means seize the night instead of seize the day in Latin, uh, referring to me trying to not be like everyone else. And I also have one here. This one says Et in Arcadia Iago. And I also have one here, as you can see, and my panties. <laughs> Um, and the one in the back is a heart. Is that one, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, and I have a bird here. Uh, it's a swallow and it's said to be good luck to have. <sighs> Swallows are a symbol of good luck. And it's always nice to have a little good luck tucked in behind your ear. Ooh, sorry for this being so awkward. Um, and Etin Arcadia Iago is also Latin and it means even I in Arcadia, I refer to death and Arcadia is an old word for paradise. It basically means that even in paradise you will find death. It is a memento mori, which basically means that it is a reminder of everyone's mortality. Uh, and I actually love that tattoo a lot. So those are all my tattoos. Sorry for showing you like my tummy and my underwear and, and all of that. I'm gonna use this one again. Uh, I have only used this once, so I thought why not use it again? Well, I did ask for juicy questions and I feel like I did get some. Uh, one person asked me uh, if I'd find, if I'd be comfortable letting you know why my first marriage didn't work out, because if you didn't know that, I'm actually divorced. And I don't want to speak for him. Uh, I really don't. Uh, we don't really talk anymore, but we are not like enemies in any way, shape or form. Um, we just... I think that we met in a time of our life when we were both looking for something serious and I think that in Sweden we say that you are in love with love and I think that we both were. Uh, we wanted it to work but at the end of the day we were pretty different and I think that we were both looking for different kind of people at the end of the day. And we probably shouldn't have even gotten married, we should have realized a bit earlier that we actually weren't meant to be but sometimes you are in love and you don't realize that this isn't forever love. And I feel like that, that's like if I ever were to give like a an advice on love it is that just because you are in love with someone that doesn't mean that you are meant to be doesn't mean that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with this person you can be in love with someone and then fall out of love with someone and that's okay you fall in love you fall out of love and it's okay it doesn't mean that what you had wasn't special but sometimes I feel like especially when you are young, you are not really good at assessing what you really want out of life. Like, what do you really want? I feel like this got very out of hand really fast. And I feel like that was my biggest um, problem. Is that you don't, and I wasn't really that young when I met him, but I think that I fall in love very easily with people. And I haven't really been that good at assessing like, so is this a person I could be in love with my whole life? And that is something that I haven't really been that good at, to be honest. And and it's okay. It's okay to fall in love with someone and then fall out of love with someone. It doesn't mean that you, what you had wasn't worth it. Like, it still was worth something. What am I trying to say? It was still worth something. It doesn't mean that all of that was for nothing. That's not true. But I think that we should be more honest towards ourselves when we fall out of love with people and just be like not trying to hang on to something that maybe wasn't meant to be. Because that, that's the truth about my first marriage. We weren't meant to be, but we were really trying to make it happen. And maybe not for the right reasons. Someone asked me, do you only date men with Latin heritage? No. <laughs> uh, my ex-husband was Swedish. So that is, I don't, I don't think someone is like, a lot, not, I know a lot of people are like, this is my type, I do not have a type. Um, and someone also asked me like what I find most attractive in men, and I would say intel intellect, like being smart or being really good at something, that is something I find very attractive. I will say though that the older that you get, the more you get to realize when some people are just bullshitting you about how good they are at things. Because um, some people are good at good at something, like really good at something, and some people are just good at talking. And I feel like with some people that I've met, at first I've been really impressed with 
the way they talk about things and how they seem to know so many things and with time we realize that the only thing they're really good at is talking themselves up and at the end of the day you're just sitting there like man you're stupid <laughs> have, you, have you ever been like been in a situation like that i've been in a situation like that plenty of times where i've eventually just been like So I do find like people being smart and people being intellectual is like open-minded. Oh God, I hate when people are like, I know it's like this and I'm never gonna change my mind. And you're like putting the facts on them. We're like, no, 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 I know it's like this. I can't handle it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I wanted to use a highlighter. Did I put a highlighter in here? Cause I always use like a basket when I do doing things like this. Uh, I guess not. I'll take a bit more of the tickle then. Although this is too dark for me, I can't be arsed getting up. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let me do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be back and I'll answer some more questions. Okay, let's see if I can have some other good questions. What color scheme or story would you want to see the most... Mm, most this year? I think we've seen a lot. I'm gonna use this new Sigma eye primer pen. I've really been liking this. I think it's really good. I really, really like this one very smooth and nice and glides on it's easy to blend out uh, and i like how eyeshadow sits on it and blends on it and uh, i think that we've seen a lot of really fun things but what i would like to see is like coral i'd like to see yellow coral purple i think that that would be super pretty uh, that is something that i would love to see I wish that someone would come out with something like that. I would love that. Someone else asked, what's in your fridge right now? Uh, we don't usually keep a lot of things in our fridge. We usually buy things when we are cooking. I don't like just having things in my fridge because I feel like there, that's a certain way of making them go bad. So I usually don't buy things just to have them at home. We have Coke Zero milk for my coffee we have olives because apparently we cannot cook without olives in this household tea uh, and we have some uh, jams and like butter and cheese and stuff for like our sandwiches in the morning and uh, we have some yogurt because my fiance loves yogurt um, we do have some like hot sauces because he loves putting that on food. I think I bought a juice the other day because I love that. But we don't really have a lot of stuff there. Oh, we have some veggies as well because um, we love doing like if not if all else fails, what we cook is like pasta with like some kind of veggie thing and, and some and we always have some creme fraiche at home because of that. So we usually do some veggies with creme fraiche and just pasta and some kind of a spice spicing herb herb spicing <laughs> with that if if all else fails and we need to cook something and um, also because we have food boxes to work and uh, we never buy like lunch at work well, we try to not we try to cook at home to bring to work because that is the best way to save money i'm telling you bring your food to work that is the absolute best 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 um what is your dream job i think like within the field that i'm working in my dream job i don't i don't know what my dream job would be if i were to pursue the career i have now i would love for it to be like if i was like the boss before i retired uh, that would be cool if i ended my career being the boss but with youtube i think like my dream job would be if i could be recruited by a company in like product development and they did like cool eyeshadow palettes that would be really nice um someone also asked me because i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette today someone asked me would you buy this palette like the um, linda halberg palette basically i'm guessing they are wondering if i didn't get it as pr would i buy it yes i was actually planning to buy this i had a 20 percent off coupon i'm still thinking about using the coupon and buying another one to give away because I'm thinking about doing like a summer giveaway. Is that something you'd be interested in? This is what the palette looks like. I've only swatched it. Haven't used it on my eyes. It looks really pretty. Um, I'll, I'll do a proper review later on. I was wanted to bring out some palettes that I thought that it had some resembling colors to. Just so you can see what they look like. This is the Creepy Cute by Strobe Cosmetics. Uh, I think that this has a kind of a similar color scheme. The Creepy Cute is all matte though. But I will say... 
how is this not working out? I will say that th there are not any specific dupes in there. Maybe the minty green one is slightly similar, but it does have some of the like similar colors, but they're not dupes. I also think that the spectral palette is a bit deeper. Now, another palette that I, oops, that I thought about when I saw this, and I actually was like, these are a bit similar, is the, let me see if I can get these together. This is not that easy as it looks because I'm trying to not put my finger in any of them, uh, is the uh, Riviera palette. I feel like these have a slightly similar, like, not, not dupes, but like they are duping the vibe. Uh, only the Spectral palette had some green in it, but it's like a mix of brights and some the blue shimmer and like, not dupes, but I did feel the vibe. I did feel the vibe when I saw the palette, but yeah, not dupes. Then also I was thinking a bit of this one. This is actually the first palette I thought about, and I feel like these have a similar dupe color-wise. This is the Urban Decay Electric palette, just that the Electric palette is a lot brighter and more uh, like that brighter and more like saturated and more like not neon but like bright but the spectral palette and the urban decay electric palette they are more similar than you would think just that the electric palette is more bright i feel like these would go really well together though that they both have silvers as well although the silver in the spectral palette is better than the silver in the electric palette just letting you know from swatching both of them i'm gonna do something fun let me see if i had another question that i can do while doing this Someone asked me if YouTube suddenly stopped monetizing videos, what would you do? Nothing. This isn't my job. If it was ever my job, would I say that it will never be my job? I don't know. I never know what the future will hold, but right now I kind of like my normal job, so I don't want to quit it to do this, but nothing. If they stop monetizing my videos, the only difference it would make is that I wouldn't be able to buy although I'm on a low buy now, but I wouldn't be able to buy as much makeup and I wouldn't be able to upgrade my equipment when I need it because I wouldn't have money for that, but I wouldn't do anything. I got a question of what is my favorite vice, uh, and vice is not really a word that we use like in Swedish. I had to actually look it up, but apparently it's like weakness or like something like that. And my favorite vice, 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 not wise, vice about myself, um, I don't know. Favorite advice? Hmm. I'm starting with the pastel purple. I'm just gonna do a bit of a purple crease. Favorite advice? What would that be? Maybe that I am so trusting because it is. <laughs> It's, it's good to be trusting because you never like turn someone away that you shouldn't but oh boy has that like Yeah, I've been Really like backstabbed by pe people that I have really defended and fought for uh, and then it turns out like I just thought they liked me, but they didn't and I guess that that would be my like it should really be a bit more cynical about new people and don't like let them step all over me just because I think that they only have the best for me in mind. They don't. <laughs> they, they really don't. <laughs> a lot of people are asking me like where I would live if I like money was no object and I could live every anywhere in the world. Um, I, I kind of like <laughs> Sweden, uh, but I would like to try and live abroad for some time in my life. If like money was no object and I could live anywhere, I'd probably live somewhere where it's a bit warm because I will say the cold does get to me. Like I am very affected with how the cold and the darkness, it really affects me. Um, I do feel like I get much more energy when the uh, light comes back to Sweden and uh, I'm always cold. I'm even cold in the summer in Sweden and I would it would be nice for a time in my life to not be cold So I think I would move somewhere like warmer um, And probably somewhere where they speak English because I am NOT that good at languages I am NOT good at learning myself like teaching myself a new language you probably like, oh my god, but you're so good at English. Yeah, but I've, I've been practicing English since I started school because you have to in Sweden. Uh, so it basically took me a whole life to speak English at this like 
at the, the level that I'm at right now. So I don't really have another life to learn myself another language. Maybe it would be easier if I would live there. I, I'm sure it would. At some point I would love to learn some Italian. I am picking up some words here and there. So I do like someone is talking in Italian. I get like what they're talking about. I just don't get the details. But yeah, I think I would move somewhere warmer and somewhere that, where they spoke English. I probably wouldn't move somewhere like... I don't think I would move like in the outback. I, I don't think I'd like to live somewhere too far away from everything. Maybe like, I don't know, Miami? Miami's nice. Something like that, maybe. Uh, although I'm not sure I want to live in the States, to be honest. No offense. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe something, maybe something like that. I, I honestly, I don't know. Maybe I could try to live somewhere like that and then move back to Sweden. When it comes to Sweden, I would love to live in a somewhat bigger city than I am right now, at least for a while. Don't know really if I want to live in Stockholm though. I'm not the biggest Stockholm fan, even though it's nice to be there from time to time. I don't know if I want to live there. But yeah, I guess you could live like outside of Stockholm. But it's so expensive you, like you have to be rich <laughs> like rich or like have a really good job to be able to buy something nice in Stockholm and like own your home oh <laughs> I got a question how are you doing really especially after making your video uh, updating your life uh, I did a video I don't know when this is going up oh yeah I did a video last Monday yeah like update about my life saying that I was I'm using the deeper purple now that I was struggling a bit and um, having some social insecurities, feeling a bit alone. And I will say that even though I feel like it's horrible to read that other people are experiencing, experiencing the same things as you, it's also a bit reassuring because you're like, maybe I'm not as alone as I thought I was. And I don't want anyone to have to go through any hardship but it's nice to know that you're at least not alone in the boat. Um, so even though I, I like, I don't want anyone to suffer, I don't want anyone to feel bad. I wish we could all just be happy and have friends and never be disappointed by anyone else again ever. I know that that's not like realistic because there's always going to be people out there that don't have anyone's best at mind at heart. What do you say, mind at heart? Than themselves. And that's something that you are gonna learn throughout life that they don't really care if you get hurt or not as long as they're doing fine um, and I will say that I am doing better it comes and goes it comes and goes and I'm very easily affected but by what people tell me in real life on internet when someone tells me something negative I don't really care but if someone tells me something positive on the internet I really do soak it up like a sponge. I'm really happy that I'm at least that way, that I don't get so affected by by the negative things that I get told on the internet. Even though I have to say, it's not that much. I don't get that much negativity on the internet. Maybe I do in different forms and stuff, but I, I don't read those because those forms are like the equivalent to people speaking smack about you behind your back. It's not meant for me. If they wanted to tell me, they'd tell me on my channel. So why would I go seek up stuff being told like said about me so I don't read stuff like that because it's not meant for me and I actually do not want to know if they actually did want to tell me something like to improve me or my channel I bet they would but I think that some people do have the need of gossiping and makes them feel better I do think that that says a lot more about them than about me so I tried not get involved um but I don't get that much negativity on my channel though which is a nice thing because I don't have to be like moderating so much, although I do leave like, um, what do you say, like constructive criticism, I do leave it up because everybody has the right to speak their mind, although not everyone knows what constructive criticism is. Some people are being like, I think you're ugly, and I'll answer back, I think I look fine, and they're like, you cannot take constructive criticism. Sweetheart, that's not, that's not what that is. <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm doing, it's like ups and downs. I will say that uh, a lot of people have reached out to me after that video uh, saying that they didn't know that th I wanted them to keep in touch or wanted to hang out and I really do. They, I've been invited to a bunch of fun stuff. So I'm really thankful about that. And yeah, it's, it's, it's been, 
it's been nice. It's, uh, I feel like sometimes just acknowledging that that is that there is a problem that something is not perfect is the first step to actually feeling better maybe you don't agree with me but that's how i feel i'm gonna use a bit of my did i put that away maybe i did oh, i'll use a bit of the white from the riviera palette just because i have it here I'm just gonna brighten this up a bit so like i'm not perfect i'm not like things didn't just like blow over but i i'm doing better and i am at least like i've been spending more time with myself doing more fun things i didn't film any time during the week uh, just trying to instead when i get some time over do something for me like reading playing video games or stuff like that and that's been really nice i've been rediscovering some like old retro games that i used to really love just playing because it's fun like roller coaster tycoon and settlers and stuff like that just playing because it's fun and just enjoying myself basically and I, it's been really nice i've been i've been i've been having a good time and i I've been really reading and enjoying all the nice comments that you left me. Thank you so much. I still haven't taken the video down because I feel like... I feel like the moment that I feel uncomfortable knowing the video is up, that's when I'm going to take it down. And I still don't feel like that, so I'm going to leave it up. But if I ever feel like, oh, I wish that that video wasn't up, I'm going to take it down. No shame. I feel like this is looking really nice. I wish that I didn't take the purple as high as I did, but... I always do that to myself, but no. here we are. <laughs> That's basically how it is. I'm gonna use Dim, which is the apricot shade. And I think I'm gonna spray this just to make it as opaque as possible because I wanna. That's not what I'm gonna spray with. I'm gonna spray with this one just to uh, make it, like I said, as opaque as possible because I wanna see if I can cover some of this up and just blend them into each other. I'm gonna use a bit of this silver as well. I feel like that one is a bit. Like, I don't want to say flaky, but the texture is a bit gritty, but when you swatch it, it's really intense. It's meant to be a glitter. I'm guessing that's why it's a bit gritty. I'm going to use that in my inner corners and maybe a bit under my eyes. But it's very intense when you get it on. So this is the eye look. I'm going to do some mascara and some liner. Uh, I'll put some lashes on as well and I'll come back and I'll, I'll, I'll pick in a last question to answer as well. Something something nice <laughs> and I have the lips as well to fix so I'll be right back okay lashes are on and I fixed my hair as well because it was wet and up in a bun so I just blow dried it it's kind of nice to have the like because you can just scratch I really love not having the extensions in long story short I used some lashes from makeup store I will put the name down below I still haven't figured out what they're named they just say eyelashes but they're pretty much like the iconics I'm using the Linda Halbari crayon in my waterline I think it's daring mood it's the purple one I am gonna use a lip lippy this is the Becca ultimate lipstick love and I have mascara here and I have mine in taupe it is a bit dark, but I thought this look is... I thought that this would work with this look. And I really want to try this formula. So this is taupe. Do we think this is going to work? I hope so. And I was thinking about putting a gloss over because I still haven't tried the ultra glossy lip from the Villains collection in uh, Puppies, which is the Corella one. I'm going to put a lip liner as well. This is the Gerard Lip Pencil in Sugar and Spice. Let me, let me just do this. I'll find a question to answer as well. Oh! People were asking about my wedding and my wedding plans. I'm gonna answer that as my last question. Okay, time for this. Mm hmm. It's really dark. It's kind of dark, but I kind of like it. It has that lipstick taste, very strong. It feels really nice on the lips though, it's very opaque. It glided on really nice. I prefer lipstick that has a bit of a more why do I have hairs everywhere that has a bit more shine to them so it's really nice that I'm putting a gloss over nice formula tastes really lipsticky though if that's something that bothers you maybe you won't like this I don't know if you can see the wand you see that this is <laughs> I don't get why they do this these little brushes when they got these little rebel rebel hairs just I lost my lip gloss on my on the floor. One second. I was saying when they got this rebel 
Ooh, rebel hair is just poking out everywhere. Like, what's the point? Yeah, this brush, it really isn't it. <laughs> that brush is not it. But yeah. I do like this color a bit more with the gloss on. I'm really happy I put a gloss on. I want to talk about my wedding plans. We don't have any. <laughs> oh, my fiance came back. He was out walking the dog. Let me just close the door. Hey, honey. Or maybe not. He's already here. Not my fiance, but the dog. You want to come up and say hi? Come. <laughs> you want to come up and say hi? Oh, have you been out? Have you been out? Without being? No, no leaking right now. Yeah, you're very cute. Oh my god, that's drooly. Why are you so drooly? So drool a lot. Okay. Ugh. Um, like, what is this? How did, How is the drool black? Let me fix this. Let's see if we can film this last part with the animals around because it's a proper zoo right now. They're not really in the sleeping mood. <laughs> Let me tell you. The look is finished. I really like it. I was gonna talk about Sweetie. That's mommy's leg. I was gonna talk about like wedding plans. Uh, we've been really busy with other stuff. We haven't planned anything. Our, our plan all along is to get married in 2020. So we are not really that stressed. Although I do realize that we should probably book some things now. If we wanna get married then. Uh, we are planning to get married in the early spring 2020 because because we have a lot of things going on for the rest of the year. 2020 is the year where my fiance is getting his PhD, hopefully. <laughs> That's the year when he has planned to be done, to be honest. Because he's been at it for four years now, so he is doing a fifth year as well. Uh, because he's been, I don't know if anyone knows this, a PhD is not really education, he is like hired. It's not like, you are not, it's the highest form of education, but you're not really at least in Sweden, I mean, you're hired. You're hired at the university as a employer and he's been teaching as well. So that's why in Sweden, at least, I, I'm guessing this is all around the world, but in Sweden, if you are teaching, you're doing your PhD for five years because like one year is teaching. And then if you're not teaching, you're doing your PhD in four years. So I am reserving myself if I am slightly off, but he has been teaching. He's been teaching at the... Um, medical doctor program and also the biomedicine program here in Linköping so he is due to be done in one year hopefully so we are planning to get married in the early spring 2020 I have not looked at wedding but I've looked at them like I have a Pinterest board like I want I know it I know pretty much what I want to have I, I want to have something off-white or more like light beige I don't want to have stark white we want to have something more nature inspired and something really small we don't want to have a big huge wedding we just want to have something small maybe like 20 30 people we are thinking about just renting a place abroad and just doing something like informal and just small we haven't really thought about much um my dress like i haven't tried anything i've just looked at like really they're crazy i like lace and i don't want to have something like stark white that's about it that's about it i we haven't really like we're not doing something super big this is not going to be a kardashian wedding <laughs> it's going to be small small boy semla is really at it who gave her sugar anyways i think that was it for this video please let me know down below if you have any more like questions about the things that i've talked about i hope this wasn't too controversial i'm really not trying to be a controversial channel although i realize that sometimes just being outspoken and being ally honest does get you in play like gets you into situation that you shouldn't have been in or wouldn't have been in if you just kept your mouth shut but yeah that's how it is being a person who does not know when to not speak. <sighs> it's not good. But yeah, that was everything. Thank you so much for being here. I need to go play with my pets a bit because they're crazy. If you want to be subscribed, please do. I do upload at least uh, four to... Uh, uh, right now I'm uploading four to five videos a week. And I think that's a good amount. And I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye.